Today's video is going to show you the similarities between this cost table that you filled out. This one is much like the one in your homework assignment. I've just expanded it quite a bit, not exactly the same numbers. And we started talking about these cost curves where we're graphing these things. So you're pretty familiar with the relationship between each of these. So the total fixed cost plus the total variable cost equals total cost. We get the change in total cost equal our marginal cost. Average fixed cost means you just divide fixed cost by output. Average variable cost, ABC, is equal to the variable cost over output. And our ATC is the TC over our output. So you're pretty comfortable with that by now. And what I wanted to show you is that this is exactly the same thing when we look at a graph. So I've made a graph with output on our x-axis. So if you take a look at output, right? So we take these numbers right here. That is our x-axis, OK? Now, our y-axis is the cost per unit. And we're looking at these things over here. And you'll notice that everything is color coordinated. So each cell over here corresponds to a point on the graph. So let me give you an example of that. Let's take a look at the average fixed cost when the output is 2. So we want to look at the average fixed cost column at an output of 2. And we get to this cell right here. And we can look at this point. 7. Now you'll notice over here, this equals 7. The output is 2. And we're on this red square curve that is the average fixed cost curve. We could also work backwards here. Let's say that we were interested in a point on the curve, say the marginal cost here, when the output is equal to 10. All right, so output equal 10, we go up to the blue curve, that's marginal cost, so we are looking at this point on the graph. Now if output equals 10, I go over to the marginal cost, and I can find the value that is 9. So if we look over here, this looks like the value is 9 on the graph, the value is 9 in the table, all this stuff is equivalent. Now what you can do is pause the video and take a look at this graph and table and see if you can identify how each point on the graph corresponds to a cell out of the table. Now you can also see the relationship here between the marginal cost and the average total cost, where we have in this region to the left of 6, we have marginal cost down below average total cost. The average total cost is going down. Over here, the marginal cost is higher. We have average total cost going up. It's not quite as steep. It might be a bit harder to see. All right, the same thing's going on with average variable cost. We have marginal cost below it here and here, so that's bringing it down. Then we have our marginal cost about the same right here. And then as our marginal cost is bigger than average variable cost, it is going up. So let's take a look at the relationship between the average fixed cost, the average variable cost, and the average total cost. All right, so let's just go over to the very first point, And then we will go over to the very last point as well. So from the first point, an output of 1, we can see that our v average variable cost here has a height of 4, has a variable, average variable cost of 4. On the table, we can see that that's 4. And we can see that our average fixed cost right here is 14. That's this number. Add those two together, and you get 18. Notice that this is the point on the graph. Now, if we add graphically this 4, that distance, to here, we are adding the average variable cost to the average fixed cost, and we get our average total cost. So that's how you should view it on the graph. Now, if we go over to our last unit of output here, we can see that our average fixed cost down here is 1.27. All right, our average variable cost here is 5.55, and our average total cost is 6.82. Now, if we add this 1.27 to this 5.55, it brings us up to that 6.82. 
and this doesn't have to be with just the terminal points. We could have picked some point in the middle. So for instance, if we went somewhere like this at six units of output, all right, our average fixed cost is at six units of output, 2.33. Our average variable cost is 3.5. So if we add those two together, we should get 5.83. That's this number. So if we add this distance to this curve, we get that. So notice that as output increases, our average total cost is getting closer to the average variable cost. So that's about all I have for you today. You can pause this video, see if you can go through these similar exercises on your own. See if you can look at the relationships between the curves because you already understand the relationship in the tabular format. So hopefully this has helped you see it on the graph. Have a good day.